Oh, sh what time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Hello. Ah, hey Welcome back to Royal Goose. I bet you guys thought we were done, just like that last time when I remember. Um, 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 uh, 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 that guy. Uh, Nerok. <clears throat> I totally remember that name. <laughs> Nerok was like, are you guys done? And I was like, nah. We just got busy. <laughs> you were pointing out to me over the phone, which is so funny. Well, I think we made a comment when we were recording Donkey Kong, like, yeah, it's winter time now, so we're going to have so much time to sync up. Yeah, that we didn't record for like another two or three months. Because <laughs> Christmas got in the way. Yeah. Oh, I cannot get that orb yet. To be fair, it has been very busy lately. Yeah, a lot of a lot of crap's just been getting in the way. Yeah. Like you, the last week, Alex was sick, so you didn't want to risk me coming yep. over getting you sick. Yeah. Because your immune I'm a system. Paranoid little fucker. You're, you have the immune system of a freaking five-year-old. I, I guess, sure. Yeah. Are you gonna tell me to shut up? Um. <laughs> <laughs> God yeah, damn it! I when I watch my kids' movies, I don't want fucking kids ruining it for me. Um. Oh, in the grocery store, you were saying that uh, it reminded you of when we went to my cabin. Mm -hmm. And that's what I was thinking the whole time. <laughs> this little two-year-old in the other stall next to me wouldn't shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was just crabby and mad. So, Zoe. What did I call her picks? Whoa, do you see that artifact thing behind her? Oh, oh that's her wing. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's... I thought that was a wall, like, tripping out. Um, yeah, no, that's just... Dude, I think, I think that's Tara Strong voicing her, if I'm not mistaken. Tara Strong? Uh, let's see, she voiced Timmy Turner in oh. Fairly Parents. She also voiced, uh, Twilight in My Little Pony, nice. and she, she voices, uh, like a crap ton of... She's, like, one of the, the top female voice actress... <laughs> vo oh! Female voice actress. <laughs> Double negative. Um, Wait, does she... I saw something hmm. shiny at does the she voice, uh, someone from the Boondock Saints... Or, sorry, not the not the fucking Boondock Saints. The Boondocks, <laughs> the Boondocks. not the movie The Boondock Saints. Isn't that the the the, the animated the the cartoon with um that's mostly uh, black people? Yes. I've actually never seen that show, so I wouldn't know. I think so. I saw this really cringe video, and I think it was her. Uh, she wasn't the cringe person. There, this like no offense, but actually fuck that in fence attended offense attended <laughs> this fucking neck beard motherfucker walks up to her i'm pretty sure it was her um and she she's so nice she's like hi and like uh she was at a convention and is she know, blonde yeah then yeah it's probably tara strong okay do you know how many fucking people are blonde mm. <laughs> i'm just saying is that really the metric anyways she she did kind of have a voice like timmy turner when she was doing one so i, uh -huh. I think it was um but so, a, 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 Anyways, a con this girl. fucking neckbeard comes up. And you know, like, people do requests for voices. Yeah. Which is not weird. But he he asks her, and you can just fucking bleep this. I'm just going to quote him. He says, like, uh, uh, can you say, like, something appropriate? Like, can you say, what's up, guys? And, you know, so-and-so's voice. And she does. And then he's like, uh, can you say, suck my nuts, you- No! from the boondocks in front of a bunch of people oh and she's God. like you want me to say that and he's like i guess, I guess you don't have to <laughs> like what are you fucking serious you're gonna ask her to say that in front of a bunch of people uh yeah you can't uh maybe if i find the clip you could just play the clip okay sure uh mcpherson from the boondocks uh -huh. try to have her say like uh take that you want me to say that? Really okay, no, no, not that one. Um, <laughs> whatever you want, that's fine. Take that. What's up? Some bad words I'll put in later. <laughs> uh, what's the last Just one? Sit. Oh man, well, I'm so glad you guys came. Trying to think here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, uh, like. That, that's that's got to be one of the most fun things about being a voice actor is like in your spare time when you're with friends and family getting to say really messed up things yeah. in your character voices. Like I'm sure Charles Martinet has a fun time. <laughs> Hello, I'm a Luigi. You can suck my mushroom dick. <laughs> 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 
It's just stuff like that, just for fun. But like, they they can't do that at cons because if people report it, then like yeah. they'll get in trouble with their bosses. Like he'd probably get in trouble with Nintendo for saying something in Mario's oh, voice. Totally. <laughs> what? What did you say the voice actress's name was? Uh, Tara Strong. She's pretty awesome. She she also she plays I think Batgirl in the DC Supergirl Squad whatever show that's on right now. Cool. I, I've never seen it, but I I, I assume it's good. Um, <laughs> um, see, so yeah, I'm trying to think, I think we, we, we've gone over, totally here, dude. I think we've gone over everything that uh, we got for Christmas, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, dude. Uh, I feel like, th I feel like there's something else that I, I wanted to talk about. Oh yeah. Okay. So as, as you're looking for this video, you said there was something really, really, really cringy happened to you not long ago. Uh... Oh yeah, dude. Super. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> one sec. Wait, wait until you're not multitasking. Yeah, dude. Okay. <laughs> okay, where the hell am I supposed to go? Oh, maybe I have to go to that gate over there. Man. Okay. I I am like pretty damn positive. Uh, I'll try and find it. I saw the post on Reddit and I was just like, holy shit. This. Going to cons, you always. Dude, I remember going to. The, the worst thing about going to, let's see, I, I, I go to Everfree Northwest every year. I yeah. remember uh, there's always, like, whenever people come up and ask, uh, show people questions, there's yeah. always at least a few people who ask, like, the really cringy, awkward questions. Or, oh, yeah, dude. Or, or, like, when somebody goes up and, like, tries to, like, <laughs> ooh, first step. <laughs> 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 when, when somebody, like, goes up and asks, like, tries to self-advertise, like, Hey, hey, John Delancey, I'm gonna, I'm, I have a question about this. By the way, I have an Instagram here. Can you guys yeah. all check it out? It's like, shut the fuck <laughs> up. Nobody cares. <laughs> when, when you go to cons, you always got to deal with the cringy people, sadly. Sure. I, I see why you like to avoid them. Yeah, man. Anyways, that's, that's a good transition. So, another reason I fucking hate going to cons is just like, I I don't fucking know how to interact with big crowds anymore, man. Like, <laughs> when I was in high school, I was a lot more social. Like, I was happy to, like, meet new people and, like... Oh, yeah, you were a social butterfly. Yeah, very, very much so. Um, oh, whoops. But ever since, like, university, I, I met less people and then... Which is common. And then after graduating university, it, I, it's, I find it very hard to make adult friends, right? Mm. Uh, it's very hard for me to, like, meet people and, and stuff like that. Um, it takes way more effort. For sure. Yeah, and I just don't, I don't put in the effort. Like, I don't go out to try and meet people. But, <laughs> because of that, like, social skills are not something like riding a bike, right? Once you have it, you don't just fucking keep that skill. You have to, like, practice it to, like, you know, keep, keep, uh, keep your charisma, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, sure, sure. Your person, uh, your per keep your, uh, keep socially, uh, keep, remain socially adept. Yeah, yeah, good, good way to phrase it. So, because I have not done that, dude, I oh, find I it so difficult to interact with new people. Like, not always, but, like, I just don't... I don't care anymore as much. Like, I'm just like, what the fuck ever. I don't think about it. So when I'm meeting someone, I'm like, uh, hi. <laughs> nice to meet you or something, you know. Nice to um, meet you, whatever, whatever, get out of my way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not, not, not on that level, you know, but, like, I, I just don't even fucking know how to interact with people anymore. Okay. So... My mom, bless her heart, she got me a coupon for a uh, a cooking class for my birthday back in August, and I never used it until recently, and I was like, okay, I should probably use this, right? Like, oh, so you went to a cooking class recently? Yeah, with Jen. Um, oh, okay. But holy shit. It wasn't like a normal cooking class, right? So like, it was this community cooking class, which I don't even think she knew it was going to be like that. But uh, basically, like, they had, you know, one chef, and then everyone cooked together the same meal. You didn't make your own. It was like, everyone chips in. So oh. It was a very ultra-social experience, It right? was a collaborative project. Yes. But, like, there was probably one other person about our age there. Mm -hmm. uh, and I also already find it extra difficult to interact with people, like, older than me. Not always, but if we don't have shared hobbies, like, if they don't, you know, if they're not into video games or, like... I don't know, same shit I like. I don't fucking know what to say. I don't know how to hold a conversation with someone who I don't share. Interest. I'm the same way with people at my job. I, yeah. There are a lot of older people at my job. <laughs> yeah, so like I just, I don't know. I'm sure I come off as very standoffish, but it's really just because I don't know how the fuck to interact with them, right? 
Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> anyways, at this cooking class, from the very beginning, it's awkward, man, right? Like, not just me. Everyone there is a bit awkward. No, I'm like, I'm fine with that, right? I'm cool with awkward silences. Like, they don't really bother me that much. I'm like, whatever. Just so, keep to yourself. Yeah, but this class was like three and a half hours. It was pretty long of just standing around, like... So eventually, you know, we, we had to, like, interact with people, and I just really didn't want to. Um, and it just got, it just got pretty weird, and, um, like, I, I wasn't really saying much, but people were trying to talk to me, and I would, like, I would try and smile, like, force a smile, but if you've ever tried to force a smile for long enough, it turns into a creepy smile. It turns <laughs> into, like, a, like, quiver of the lip and, like, this, like, it, mm, you like, <laughs> so I could tell I was making people uncomfortable at that point. Um, <laughs> and at the very end, we all sat down and started like eating what we made. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I, we, we were late to the table. I was trying to get a seat next to Jen, but we had to split up. We were the only people who came together that had to split up. Oh. And I was just not feeling very well that day. So I wasn't eating like anything that we made. So people noticed that and they're just like, what's wrong? Are you okay? And I'm just like, uh, I'm fine. And they're like, so so tell me tell me about yourself and i was just like fuck this i'm like i gotta go i got places to be i'm sorry and i just fucking up and outed it was like <laughs> the it, like the actual situation wasn't that weird but oh my god dude i was cringing so hard at myself i was just like oh it was cringing at yourself yeah dude i was just like holy fuck i have lost all ability to interact in a normal fashion with people in a group setting when i do not know anyone there <laughs> i was like oh my god dude i've been out of the game for too long pretty much man it was so bad and i was just i hated it i got in the car or no sorry we walked outside we walked around the corner and i was just like Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it was so bad, dude. No wonder you don't like going to cons with me. Yeah, man, I just like I don't fucking know how to interact with people anymore, and I don't care. That's part of the problem too. Like, I'm <clears throat> I'm very much into like self teaching myself like skills, whether it be social or physical or like mental or whatever. But I just don't I don't really care. Like, I still have a lot of good friends from high school, like you and and other buddies too. So mm. I just. I already find it hard for me to split my time between my friends right now, right? Yeah, in between, like, making new friends and all that. Yep, so I'm like, fuck it, I don't care if I find new friends. <laughs> like, <laughs> if I'm just being honest. Yeah, I mean, I, I remember... That's how I feel. I remember back in high school, I used to feel, like, kind of... I used to feel kind of insecure because my sister, she always had a very large group of friends with her. A lot of the time, she would always have them over. Sure. Um, and uh, I, I usually only like would see hang out with one person at a time. Sure. Usually, or even not a whole lot of people. Yeah. And I was like, oh man, is something wrong with me? Should I have more friends? And then I realized, eh, nah, who gives a shit? I'll, I'll have as many friends as I care to have. Yeah, dude. Whatever. There's, yeah, there's, there's, like, there's no like rule like you need to be this social and be this outgoing. Yeah and raw it's like nah screw it yeah dude she was you know okay this is actually you know how you're like my your sister's so nice james yeah. why do you always call her a bitch <laughs> okay you want to know one of the bitchy things she did <laughs> yes! she this actually legit pissed me off she <laughs> she had a okay you, you've cleared this area ah, well no i'm looking for the last no i know to... i'm saying like you've gone around every have i yeah, uh, trying every to find... facet i do not yeah. like this challenge this challenge is bullcrap and just goes back and forth, back and forth. Blah, blah, blah. She she had a bunch of friends over, and they're they're watching Fred the movie. Oh, there it is. And I, I wanted to join in and watch them in the in the awesome media theater room. Okay. And she was like, James, can you just not be here? I'm like, why? I just want to watch it with you. And she's like, she's like, I I'm with my friends. I, I don't really need you to be here. I'm like, yeah, but Brooke, whenever I have my friends over, I don't mind if you hang out. She's like, James, you never have friends over. It's like. You fucking no! Uh, you just said that in front of all these other people. So I don't I, know. So then I walked away and I'm like, wow, my sister sucks. She probably didn't mean it like it in the way it probably was received. The way know? she said it was pretty bitchy. Oh, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> Her tone of voice. She was like, she basically mm -hmm. said like, you you never have you don't have friends. You never have people over. It's like, oh wow, you suck. Okay, well, mm. yeah, dude. I mean, everyone fights Defend that, Elliot. I'm not going to defend that. that. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's shitty. Um, trying to tell me my sister's not a bitch when she fucking is. <laughs> how, how far in? Next time on Royal Goobs, I talk about my fucking no! of a sister. And we play more Spyro. Yay!